Good evening. It is my pleasure to present the Harvey and Bonnie Gaffin Advancements in ALS Award, which is named for two of our founders, Harvey and Bonnie Gaffin, who are with us tonight. When Les Turner was diagnosed with ALS in 1977, he was frustrated by the lack of local resources available to manage the devastating effects of the disease. The state of research in ALS did not offer enough cause for hope. Les and his family and friends, including Harvey and Bonnie, were determined to change that. Together, they began a legacy that touches the life of every person living with ALS today, myself included. With this award, we are recognizing two individuals whose work embodies that legacy, Joshua Cohen and Justin Klee. Josh and Justin co-founded Amelix Pharmaceuticals in 2013. Amelix is centered around supporting and improving outcomes for people living with neurodegenerative diseases like ALS. This includes bringing awareness and understanding of the challenges faced by people living with ALS. In order to do this, Josh and Justin learned the importance of going out into the community, asking questions, and listening to people living with ALS and their families. They understand the challenges our community faces, like lack of treatments, gaps in care and reimbursement services, and need for better funding and awareness. As co-CEOs, all of their hard work and everything they have built at Amelix is focused on ending the suffering caused by these diseases and giving people more time to spend with their loved ones. I am happy to present the Harvey and Bonnie Gaffin Advancements in ALS Award to Josh Cohen and Justin Klee. Thank you, Rosie, for the warm introduction. As Justin and I are co-CEOs, and you'll rarely see us apart, we're going to give our remarks together. Um, it is such an honor to be recognized by this amazing group here today. So before anything else, we'd first like to start with thank yous. Rosie, Andrea, and the Les Turner team, thank you not just for this honor and for including us and our team in tonight's celebration, but thank you for all the work you do so tirelessly every day for people living with ALS, their families, and the whole community. Getting an ALS diagnosis and living with it is a whirlwind beyond belief. And in the face of that, you rush to provide support, care, education, community, and so much more. It's truly extraordinary. To be honored by you all is incredibly humbling. And thank you for hosting this wonderful event which is a powerful reminder of the incredible people committed to working together in the fight against this disease. Thank you also to the amazing healthcare professionals here tonight. The doctors, nurses, physical therapists, occupational therapists, social workers, clinical coordinators, and everyone else who go to clinic every week to help people with ALS and their families. 
It's daunting to think of your typical day, and yet you continue to both help people today and to make major advances to help people tomorrow. You all are our heroes, and it's an honor to be here with you tonight and to be in this fight alongside you. And thank you to everybody here living with ALS, and families, loved ones, and friends who have joined us tonight, both in person and virtually. You are truly our inspiration. It is your words, your fight, your perspectives, your innovations, and your community building that remind us all why we're here and where we need to go. When, oh. <laughs> <laughs> when Justin and I started Amelix a decade ago, I can share that we certainly never expected to be here today. We were undergraduates at Brown University and thought we had a potential idea to target the neurodegeneration that underlies diseases like ALS. We thought it was an idea worth pursuing, and so we set off seeing if our idea, which became AMX35, uh, an investigational drug, um, might actually help people with neurodegenerative diseases. As we were considering which disease to focus on, we were brought into the ALS community. What struck us instantly was not just the great need for new treatments, but also the incredible community fighting ALS every day. Despite our age and inexperience, we were welcomed in, and our first major community effort became the Centaur clinical trial of AMX35, the data from which has now served as the basis for regulatory applications for approval under review in Canada the U.S., and Europe. But with the positive data from Centaur, we were also faced with a major choice. Do we sell Amelix or partner with a big pharma company, or do we build on our own? For us, the question, the, the answer was easy and clear. The ALS community had invested so much in us. It was our responsibility to pay that forward and to build and push until ALS is cured. Over the past two years, Amelix has now grown to over 200 people across the US and the whole world, all dedicated to advancing AMX35, partnering with the community, helping people with ALS and their families, and developing new treatments for ALS. Several of our team members are here today with us tonight as well, and we are so grateful they have joined us in this mission. Which brings us back to this wonderful event. While it is our accomplishments that are being honored this evening, they have only been possible because of the tireless efforts of each of you and thousands of people in the ALS community who work to fight and change ALS every day. And so we also promise, as your tireless efforts remind us every day, that we will keep doing everything we can to help the community today and also to work to ensure that one day ALS becomes a thing of the past. Thank you all very much.